All right, so for this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 2 to the power of 2x squared over 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So I know at first glance, this equation might seem really complicated, but I promise you it's easier to solve than what you think. So let's break this down a little. My only variable in this equation is x, so that's the variable I'm going to be solving for. And now for my actual solution, what I'm going to do is rewrite this equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation is 2 to the power of 2x squared over 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. And now the simplest method of solving this problem is to make all of these terms the same base. So right now we have a base of 2, a base of 4, and a base of 16. And we can actually make all these bases the same by making them all bases of 2. So my numerator here is already a base of 2, so we don't need to change that. My denominator, 4, well, 4, what's 4 relationship with 2? 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. So I get 2 to the power of 2x squared over 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 16, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. Now all my terms are of the base 2, and now it's much easier to solve. So now to simplify this, I'm going to use a property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So I can rewrite 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x as 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2x. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of 2x squared over 2 to the power of 2x is going to equal 2 to the power of 2x squared minus 2x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And now my final property is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, as seen here because both my bases are the same, then this means that m is equal to n, or my exponents are equal to each other, meaning 2x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. So now we have a much simpler equation compared to what we had at the start, which is much more complicated. So now from here, what I'm going to do is subtract 4 on both sides. So I can make this a quadratic equation. So now I have 2x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. And notice how I have a common factor of 2. So I can factor out 2. And I get 2 times x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. And now if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out. And I get x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, because this is a quadratic equation, what I'm going to use to solve this is the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 2. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 2, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 8 over 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 9 over 2, 
which is equal to 1 plus or minus 3 over 2. So this gives me two solutions. I get x is equal to 1 plus 3 over 2, and I get x is equal to 1 minus 3 over 2. So for x equals 1 plus 3 over 2, I get x is equal to 1 plus 4 over 2, meaning x, or sorry, I get x equals 4 over 2, meaning x is equal to 2. And for x equals 1 minus 3 over 2, I get x equals negative 2 over 2, and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, so I get x equals negative 1. So these are my two solutions to this equation.